O you who believe, do not render, do not render in vain your sadaqah by reminders of your generosity or by injury. Like him who spends his wealth to be seen of men, and he does not believe in Allah nor in the last day, his likeness is the likeness of a smooth rock on which is a little dust, and on it falls heavy rain, and on it falls heavy rain which leaves it bare. They are not able to do anything with what they have earned, and Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. ومثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم ابتغاء مرضات الله وتثبيتا من أنفسهم كمثل جنة بربوة أصابها كمثل جنة بربوة أصابها وابل فآتت أكلها ضعفين فآتت أكلها ضعفين فإن لم يصبها وابل فطل والله بما تعملون بصير and the likeness of those who spend their wealth seeking Allah's pleasure while they in their own selves are sure and certain that Allah will reward them for their spending in His cause is the likeness of a garden on a height. Heavy rain falls on it and it doubles its yield of harvest. And if it does not receive heavy rain, light rain suffices it. And Allah is all seer, knows well of what you do. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أيود أحدكم أن تكون له جنة من نخيل وأعناب تجري من تحتها الأنهار له فيها من كل الثمرات وأصابه الكبر وله ذرية ضعفاء وله ذرية ضعفاء فأصابها إعصار فيه نار فاحترقت كذلك يبين الله لكم الآيات لعلكم تتفكرون would any, of, would any of you wish to have a garden with date palms and vines with rivers flowing underneath and all kinds of fruit for him therein while he is stricken with old age and his children are weak not able to look after themselves then it is struck with a fiery whirlwind so that it is burnt. So does Allah make clear his ayat, proofs, evidence, verses to you that you may give thought. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ya
يُؤْتِ الْحِكْمَةَ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَمَنْ يُؤْتَ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا وَمَا يَذَّكَّرُ إِلَّا أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ O oh, you who believe, spend of the good things which you have legally earned and of that which we have produced from the earth for you. And do not aim at that which is bad to spend from it. Though you will not accept it, save if you close your eyes and tolerate therein. And you know that Allah is rich, free of all needs, and worthy of all praise. Shaitan threatens you with poverty and orders you to commit fahsha, evil deeds, whereas Allah promises you forgiveness from himself and bounty. And Allah is all sufficient for his creatures, needs all knower. And now we have an interview with our super hafiz, Halim Madaha. So how old are you? 10 years old. And what's your name? Halim Madaha. And what grade are you in? Fifth grade. How long did it take you to memorize the whole Quran? Two years, mashaAllah. Do you have any tips for us? Uh, keep on reading the page until it's good. And who was your sheikh? Qai Masihuddin. Can you recite some verses from us for the Holy Quran? Of course. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wa laqad atayna luqman al hikmata anishkur lillah وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيًّا حَمِيدٌ وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِظُهُ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى أُمُّهُ وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبَهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا اتبع سبيل من أناب إلي ثم إلي مرجعكم فأنبئكم بما كنتم تعملون And indeed we bestowed upon Luqman al-Hikmah wisdom and religious understanding saying Give thanks to Allah, and whoever gives thanks, he gives thanks for the good of his own self. And whoever is unthankful, then verily Allah is all rich, free of all need, worthy of all praise. 
And remember when Lukman said to his son when he was advising him, Oh my son, join not in worship others with Allah. Verily joining others in worship with Allah is a great zulm indeed. And we have enjoined on man to be dutiful and good to his parents. His mother bore him in weakness and hardship upon weakness and hardship, and his weakness is in two years. Give thanks to me and to your parents. On to me is the final destination. But if they both strive with you to make you join in worship with me, others that of which you have no knowledge, then obey them not. But behave with them in the world kindly and follow the path of him who turns to me in repentance and in obedience. Then to me will be your return and I shall tell you what you used to do. And now we will have our beloved principal, Sister Nora Salim, give a speech. Assalamu alaikum. It is always a pleasure and honor to speak to you today about the school, the community that is Anur Academy. When my own children were growing up here, there were very few Islamic schools altogether, much less quality ones. We did our best with the resources we had, and eventually we decided to move back to Egypt for a while so that we can ensure a proper Islamic environment for them. Alhamdulillah, now my children have families of their own, but now I find myself thinking and uh, worrying about the future of my grandchildren. And although I do more spoiling than disciplining, I nonetheless worry very much about their future and the influences that may impact them, especially now in these times that we're in. And so as I walk through the halls of Anur Academy and visit classrooms and talk with our teachers, I'm always thinking to myself, would I want my grandchildren here? Would I want all of our children here? And the answer is always a definite yes, inshallah. So allow me to give you a quick glimpse of the wonderful things that are happening at Anur that would make me want all of our children, inshallah, to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful place. I want my grandchildren and all children here because Anur undoubtedly provides an educational experience that is grounded in the principles of the Islamic faith. Our curriculum is designed not only to impart knowledge and skills, but also to develop students' moral and ethical character. That's not the slide. Students as young as pre-K learn about the generosity and charity through participating in food drives and donating them to Muslim organizations such as ICNA. I want all our children to attend Anur because when there is a serious social or personal issue, our older students have a forum for faith-based discussions that guide them to making Islamically sound decisions.
I want all our children to attend in Noor. Because when our students go to regional or national academic competitions, Islam is represented. Our students play a significant role in promoting understanding and mutual respect between different faiths. By representing their community in a positive light and interacting with people from other backgrounds, they can help break down stereotypes and dispel misconceptions about Islam. I want all our children to attend Anur because we provide extracurricular activities through clubs such as art club and business club. But our clubs are guided by our Islamic principles. So when our students are learning about business, I'm grateful that they are learning about Islamic finance and Islamic business ethics. When our students are in the car art club and are producing art, I'm grateful that they are learning about Islamic calligraphy and other Islamic, uh, Islamically appropriate art. I want all our children to attend a Noor because we provide a safe and supporting learning environment. I want all our children to be a part of a close-knit community where students feel valued and respected. The sense of belonging and community is vital for the emotional and social development of our children. So on the day of the World Cup semifinals, right? Semifinals, right? Not the finals. <laughs> our students had the opportunity to watch the game in school and were excited to cheer on the Moroccan team that represented their African identity, their Arab identity, and their Muslim identity. I want all of our children to, end, to attend a Noor. Because when there is a celebration or a party, it is to celebrate a class completing the reading of the Quran, or it is a celebration of a new hafiz or hafiza of the Quran. Or when it's time to celebrate a holiday, the students decorate for Ramadan and Eid and make their school look festive for the holidays they love and anticipate. I want all our children to attend a Noor because we provide a strong academic foundation that will prepare our students for any career they choose. Our teachers provide rigorous and hands-on learning experiences. And when students are asked to make food representations of plant and animal cells, we can be assured that all the ingredients are halal. Or when students learn about Native Americans and their culture, we can be assured that they are in a school where history is not whitewashed, where students are learning about the injustices that happened and are still happening to marginalized communities. I want all our children to attend in Noor because the talent of our teachers and staff is unmatched. Our teachers not only impart their knowledge and skills, but also their high moral standards, their care, and their empathy. When I ask our students what can be improved about Anur and what they love about Anur, and of course they say many things that can be improved, and we acknowledge that, and inshallah, our mission is to continually improve. But the one thing that 99% of students say that they love about their school is the teachers and the people that are in our school. Students love that they are surrounded by people who truly care about them and care about their well-being. Our vision for the future is to continue to provide high quality education that is got grounded in Islamic values and principles. We want to continue to inspire and empower students 
to become leaders and positive change makers in their communities and in society as a whole. To achieve this vision, we rely on your continued support. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of Anur Academy, I would like to express my deepest gratitude for your generosity and your cooperation and your support in any, any form. Together we can make a real impact on the lives of our young people and to help shape a brighter and more thriving future for our community, insha'Allah. Jazakumullah khayran. And now we have a quick announcement before we continue. Um, brothers, there are some appetizers in the back. If you want some appetizers, you can get them from the table in the back. And sisters, for the children and mothers with babies, we really need you guys to go upstairs to open up space for the people who do not have children. Thank you. Now we have a speech by Brother Mufti Niaz. One moment, please. Bear with us. Now we have our ECL performers with Malana Maulan Siwa Allah Nasheed. Everyone, please quiet down. We're about to have our ECL grade perform a Nasheed for you. We would really appreciate silence while our students are performing. Please and thank you.
No, this one. Sorry, Gom. Sisters, please sit down. The kids are going to need to leave from there. I understand you need to record, but we need to, to go orderly and smoothly. Thank you. Sisters, please make space for the teachers. Thank you. support for our school. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for coming tonight. Jazakumullah khaira. And now we will say the nasheed called Allah Allah manya nama wansi wallah.
Okay, sisters, please clear a space because the children will be exiting in that direction. Okay, and our next performance is first grade with the reward of Quran. So please quiet down. Okay, sisters and brothers, quick announcement before we start the first graders' performance while they're loading. Um, if you would please take the younger kids, ages two to five, to the babysitting room. We are broadcasting the performances on a TV upstairs, so you will not miss anything. So please take the children upstairs. Thank you. Wait for my sake. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Khayrukum man ta'allama al-Qur'an wa allama The best one among you is the one who learned the Qur'an and teach it to others A'udhu billahi mina shaitan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alif Lam Mim ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأمر 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنه لقرآن كريم في كتاب مكنون The Quran is the book of Allah The Quran is the word of Allah The Quran tells me about Allah The Quran tells me stories of the Prophet the Quran tells me what is good. The Quran tells me what is bad. The Quran tells me to be good. The Quran tells me to worship Allah. The Quran tells me to help the needy. The Quran tells me to feed the poor. The Quran tells me to help others. The Quran tells me to respect elders. The Quran tells me to obey my parents. The Quran tells me not to fight. The Quran tells me the right path. The Quran. I love the Quran. I read the Quran. Qurani, Qurani. Majitatur Rahmani Lama akara ufihi Asharabita mehnani Qur'ani, Qur'ani Majitatur Rahmani Lama akara ufihi
As I go, sisters, please sit in your seats. You're blocking the view from the people in the back. Please, if you have any children from the ages three to five, please send them to babysitting. We don't want to disrupt the performances that the kids worked very hard to do. Thank you. Now we have second grade A and B performing a beautiful nasheed about the 25 prophets mentioned in the Holy Quran. Everybody, please quiet down as we have our next student's performance coming up. Please quiet down. Thank you. وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا 
غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وتلك حجتنا آتيناها إبراهيم على قومه نرفع درجات من نشاء إن ربك حكيم عليم ووهبنا له إسحاق ويعقوب كلا هدينا ونوحا هدينا من قبل ومن ذريته داود وسليمان وأيوب ويوسف وموسى وهارون وكذلك نجزي المحسنين وزكريا ويحيى وعيسى وإلياس كل من الصالحين وإسماعيل واليسع ويونس ولوطا وكلا فضلنا على العالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كان الناس أمة واهدة فبأس الله النبين مبشرين ومنذرين وعنزل معهم الكتاب بالحق ليهكم بين الناس فيما اختلفوا فيه وما اختلف فيه إلا الذين أوتوه من بعد ما جاءتهم البينات بغيا بينهم فهدى الله الذين آمنوا لما اختلفوا فيه من الحق بإذنه والله يهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم الصلاة على النبي والسلام على الرسول والأنبياء مقرامون وسن بي أطان نبي فيز بي أطان the messengers and the prophets who were sent all of them were honored أدم إدريس نوه بصالح إبراهيم لوت إسماعيل إسحاق يعقوب يوصف أيوب وعيب موسى هارون ذو الكفل داود سليمان الياس اليسع يونس زكريا يهيا عيسى والاخير الخطم الانبياء والاخير الخطم الانبياء محمد المصطفى في سبيعه عندما Oh
Up next, we have third grade who are sharing the sheet about loving and appreciating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Give Thanks to Allah. Allah, 
Next up, we have fourth and fifth grade performing a sheet about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam called Maulaya Salli wa Sallam. May we have your attention, please? Fourth and fifth grade will be starting now. Sisters, may I remind you once again, please sit down because then it is hard for the people in the back to see the kids as well. Thank you. Oh. 
Fourth grade is safe. Fourth grade is safe. It's okay. It's okay. Fifth grade. Our next performance is from our once again lovely fourth graders who are performing in a sheet called El Mahan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're going to be singing a song about professions. بعزم ومهارة الإصرار نعمل ونتعب ليل نهار حيونا نحن العمال نحمل للإتقان شعار حيونا يا أحلى صغار حيونا يا أحلى صغار أنا خياط أنا خياط أعمل بدفان ونشاط لا أعرف أبدا إحباط في كفي إبرة وزرار لا أعرف أبدا إحباط في كفي إبرة وزرار حيوني يا أحلى صغار حيونا يا أحلى صغار أنا خ
خباز على خباز شعري في الدنيا الانجاز في فرني خبز ممتاز ياكله صغارا وكبار هيوني يا أحلى صغار هيونا يا أحلى صغار بناء أحمل أحجارا أبني وطنا أعلي جدارا بناء أبني مدرسة وعمارة أجمل بيت أحلى دار هيوني يا أحلى صغار بعزم ومهارة وإصرار نعمل نتعب ليل نهار هيونا نحن العمال نحمل للإتقان شعار هيونا يا أحلى صغار هيونا يا أحلى صغار أنا نجار أنا نجار أعمل ونكف المنشار fourth graders Now we have a series of poems performed by our middle school girls. First up, we have Sayyida Vida Zainab. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Amira Rehan and today I will be saying a poem thanking Allah. Thank you Allah for fresh water to drink. Thank you Allah for my ability to think. Thank you Allah for giving me the ability to move. Thank you Allah for giving me the ability to improve. Thank you Allah for the world so green. 
Thank you, Allah, for the fresh air we breathe. Thank you, Allah, for everything we see. Thank you, Allah, for forgiving my mistakes. Thank you, Allah, for letting me see another beautiful day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Layan Wahba, and this is a poem that I've written. <coughs> Shukran Allah, thank you Allah for everything you've given me. Shukran Allah, thank you Allah for giving me eyes to see. You've given me water, food to eat, and so that I can walk, you've given me feet. You've given me the best family, you've given me all I need. You've given me the best teachers, also that I may succeed. Last but not least, you've given me every tool. To become the best Muslim, you've given me the best school. Jazakumallahu khairan. Now we have our middle schoolers who worked very hard to perform this nasheed to honor and to bring love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, called Shukran Ya Rabbi. Assalamu alaikum. يا 
خالق الأكوان يا ربي يا رحمن أكرمني بالغفران شكرا يا رب شكرا يا رب يا خالق الأكوان يا ربي يا رحمن أكرمني بالغفران شكرا يا رب شكرا يا رب شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا شكرا يا رب شكرا يا رب نور يا ربي دربي واستر يا ربي عيبي واغفر يا ربي ذنبي دوما يا رب شكرا يا رب نور يا ربي دربي واستر يا ربي عيبي واغفر يا ربي Assalamualaikum. Just a little announcement. Isha will be at nine. The woman will be on the first floor of the masjid. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, may we have your attention, please? This announcement is very, very important. From this point on, kids are no allowed longer to be in this gym. So ages four to ten, you need to go upstairs. We have activities and we have food. It is four to ten. Four to ten. And up. Can you make one more time for the Isha? Say Isha prayer again one more time.
Once again, Isha will be on nine. Women will pray on the first floor of the masjid, and men will pray in the normal masala. Okay, we have four volunteers on the side. They will direct you to the proper age group. So we have Adam. Adam is going to take the first graders. So if you are the first grade age group, he'll direct you to where you go. Then we have Amar. He's going to take you to the second grade age group. And then we have Zakaria. He's going to take you to the third grade age group. And then we have Brother Ayaz. He's going to take you to the fifth grade age group. Please follow these volunteers. Thank you. Once again, um, Isha will be at nine. Sisters, you are on the first floor in the masala, and brothers, you will be playing on the second normally um, in the masala. Thank you. Okay, I still see some teenagers in the back. Please leave the gym. It is very important that you are not here. Thank you. Can we please have your attention? We are going to start the painting and the painting auction and fundraising. Thank you for listening for our ESL through eighth grade performances. We now have a painting auction, fundraising, followed by dinner. With Imam Siraj Wahaj. Sound is good. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, I am thankful to Allah the Almighty to have the privilege to address you tonight for a few moments. I want to say that we enjoyed our youngsters in the great performance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Brothers and sisters, 
believe it or not, I'm going to only speak to you for a few moments. Is that okay with you? You feel good about that? You believe that? Today, all I want to do is give you an opinion. To give you what? An opinion. When the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, moved from Mecca to Medina, he noticed that the people were pollinating date palms. And he said, what are you doing? They said we get better production when we do that. He alayhi salat wa salam said, maybe it's better you don't do it. So they stopped. He didn't order them to stop. But with us, a suggestion of the prophet is enough. What happened? The crops failed. And they came to the prophet alayhi salat wa salam and said, this is what we're talking about. And listen to what he said. Every President, prime minister, dictator, governor, mayor, every leader should have heard what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Let me tell you what he said. He said, Either a month to be shaken, Mindinikum Fakhuluhu. Whenever I order you to do something of your religion, you do it. Khamsa Salawat, Hajj Umar. وَإِذَا أَمَّتُكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنْ رَأْيِي فَإِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ And when I order you to do something of my own personal opinion, I am only a human being. You get it? Messenger, whatever he say. Personal opinion, he's only a human being. Think of the Battle of Badr, Al Mansur, um, one of the companions said, Ya Rasulullah, is that Wahi revelation where you think we should be? He said, No. Then I suggest we do that. He said, Okay. I want to give you an opinion of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. One day, he's, a man is sitting with him, the master teacher, and a man walked by. He said, What do you think about this man? He said, oh, he's the most honorable. Ashraf min al -nas. Whenever he speaks, people listen. Someone he wants to marry, they will marry him. And the prophet remained silent. And then another man walked by. He said, What do you think about that person? Oh, Fuqara al Min al Muslimin, one of the poor Muslims. If he speaks, nobody listen. If he wants to marry someone, no one would marry him. And you know what the Prophet said, alayhi salam? This man is better than a whole earth of the other one. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we as human beings, we have opinions. Imam Siraj has an opinion tonight that I would like to express. It's my what? It's my what? It's my what? Opinion. My opinion and Nord Academy is an absolute blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you ask the people around the world what is the most prestigious University in the world, most of them will say Harvard. I am of the opinion tonight, a Nord Academy is thousands of times 
better than Harvard. Imam Siraj, you crazy. That may be true. Let's compare. 465 students, you saw some of them tonight. Harvard, 22,947 students are making a comparison. Eight presidents of the United States of America graduated from Harvard, including President Obama and his wife, Michelle. Prestigious. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all of them graduated from Harvard. And Mam Siraz, are you saying to us here that this school and no academy is better? I'm not only saying I think it's better about a larger degree. Someone asked the question, how long will the building stand? Answer, how strong is the foundation? The foundation of this school is so great, I don't think most of us appreciate it. We're trying to raise money tonight. How are you going to do it? Harvard had a fundraiser, and they raised about $1,380,000,000 at their fundraiser. We hope that we can raise 100000 150000 125000 how did they earn their money? I asked the question, how much is the tuition for this school? And the tuition, they told me, average tuition, $6,500. What about Harvard? If you want to be a student at Harvard, the tuition is $55,587. Why, ma'am, you say that this school is so much better? Think what they learn. Did you know, do you know what a chaplain is? An imam is over a masjid, a rabbi over a synagogue, a minister over a church. A chaplain is over an institution. They have chaplains in the army, in the navy, in the police, and in schools. Harvard also have chaplains. You know how many chaplains they have in Harvard? Over 40. And I'm about to tell you something that you're going to think I'm making it up. Imam, you're going to think I'm making it up. Are you ready? The head chaplain of Harvard is an atheist. Should I repeat myself? Because you said, Imam Saraj, you, could, you have to be making this up. Head chaplain of Harvard is an atheist. His name is Greg Ein, Ein, um, Bernstein. Thank you. Why is this institution so important? Because it gives us the reality of life. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't go to higher education, don't go to Harvard, don't go to Yale, don't go to Columbia. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I am saying what you can learn. How many know the model 
of the Marines. If you know the model of the Marines, let me know. Someone raise your hand, let me know. The model of the Marines. Does anybody know? Huh? Very good. It's not correct. But it's very good. The model of the Marines is the fuel, the proud, the Marines. The fuel, the proud, the Marines. Let's go back thousands of years ago, a conversation that, that Ibrahim alayhi salat wa salam had with his wife Sarah. Listen to what he said. Yes, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, there is not one believer on the face of the earth other than you and me. Are you serious? In New York City, our neighbor, there are 1,300,000 Muslims. 40 Muslim schools, thousands of Muslim businesses. There's a lot of us in New Jersey. But the few, as Allah said in Quran, and most of them don't believe, the few. I want to let you know tonight that we are always being tested by Allah. Blessed being him in whose hand is the dominion of the heaven, the earth. He created the, he, uh, he created the heavens and earth in order to be tried, to be tested. And I'd like to give you one test of Ibrahim alayhi salat wa salam. Ibrahim alayhi salat wa salam brings his wife Hagar and the new baby Ismail and places the baby down. And when he places the baby down, he begins to walk away. Hagar follows him. Ya Ibrahim, ayna tethab. Ya Ibrahim, ayna tethab. Ya Ibrahim. And he's walking away. He don't turn around. And she stops and says, is it Allah ordering you to do this? He said, yes. She said, then Allah will never neglect us. And she go back. Ibrahim makes a dua for his family, and he goes away. Unbelievable. But she asks, is it Allah telling you? Yes. What happens? The dates are gone. The water is gone. Hey, God's looking around. There's nobody. She run between Safa and Marwa. And all of a sudden, she noticed the heels of the angel digging down in the earth, and the water comes up. Why I say that? How blessed. Ibrahim was alayhi salat wa salam walladhina ma'ah and those with him. He comes back years later. Ismail's a little bit older. He said, Allah has ordered me to build his house. Will you help me? He says, yes. So they build the house for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This morning I was in Atlanta, Georgia airport. Salatu Fajr came in. I looked at my device and found the Qibla, what I thought was the Qibla, and I made my Salat right there. As soon as I finished, a worker from Delta Airline came to me and said, Assalamu alaikum. I said, Wa alaikum salam. He didn't recognize me as Imam Siraj, you know, a Muslim. And he said to me, the Qibla is this way. Stop for a moment and think about that. We share this planet, 196,940,000 square miles. We share it with 7,800,000,000 people. And of those two, 
two billion two hundred million Christians, one billion nine hundred million Muslims, one billion one hundred million Hindu, five hundred million Buddhists, and about fifteen or sixteen million Jews. And every one of them have the right to practice their religion as they see fit. fit. If it was Allah's will, everybody would have the same religion. And they will not cease to differ. Allah gave them that right. There's no compulsion in religion. But Ibrahim builds his house. Where was Imam Sarah supposed to pray? In the direction of the house that Ibrahim built. And that stranger, a Muslim, say, this is the Qibla. Think about this. Hardly nobody is there. Now look at the house that Ibrahim built. Do you know the most expensive building in the world? You know it's listed as number one? Masjid Haram. $100 billion. $100 billion. Think about this for a moment. Thousands of planes land there. Thousands of planes, thousands of buses. You've been there. How many of you met Haji Umar? Raise your hand. Look how many hotels, how many businesses. All around because of what Ibrahim did, alayhi salat wa salam. This is my question to you. My, my opinion Teaching this deen is the most important thing that you can ever do in your life. Teaching this deen. So now, I would like to answer this question. How many of you think that it is very, and I want an honest answer, that it is very important to send our children to Islamic education, Islamic schools, raise your hand. A little bit or a lot? I'm saying it's basic. I'm afraid to send my children to a public school. 95% of Muslim children go to public school. Devastating. Imam, I was in Doha. I wasn't playing soccer. In Qatar. And I was speaking to some brothers from United Kingdom. And they told me something that I found it hard to believe. He said, Imam, even in the, we, they, we call it state school. We call it public school, they call it state school. He said, Imam, even in a Muslim private school, the government dictates certain things that they have to teach in the curriculum. I said, no, no way. He said, yes. You never know how things will change. Me, personally, Allah blessed me with nine children. And every one of them went to a full-time Muslim school. So I believe in it. I'm not just talking. So the question before us tonight, Imam, I gave, I gave last year, I gave, you know, it's too much. I end with this question. What's in it for you? You who sit here tonight, what's in it for you? You can't even begin to calculate. German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, he said, life is an endless pain with a painful end. I cannot imagine someone not believing in the hereafter. Can I quote Shakespeare? You might, Imam, can I quote Shakespeare? You're not sure? You want to think about it? You let me know? How many of you heard of Macbeth? Can I quote some Macbeth? Macbeth's wife just died. And he's saying, now, by the way, it's not Macbeth saying it. Who's saying it? Shakespeare. So sometimes when you're listening to a play or a song, 
It's the author. Life's but a walking shadow of poor play that struts and frets upon the stage and is heard no more as a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. If you don't believe in the hereafter, this life makes no sense. They're not going to teach you that in Harvard or Yale or Columbia. I end with this. What will you give today? I have never seen ever where Allah will charge you for what you earn. Two questions. Min aina iktasabahu wa fi anfaquhu. How did you earn it? How did you spend it? Our friend Yaqub from South Africa texted me, said, Imam Siraj, do everything with a good heart, expecting no reward. I said, yes, do everything with a good heart, expecting no reward except from Allah. Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? That's nice, right? I changed it. Life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for yourself by serving others? Whatever good you spend is for yourself. So tonight, I like to see one, two, three, four, five, six, even ten of you say, Imam, I have some disposable income. I have some income that, alhamdulillah, I can use it for some good cause, and I would like to help pay for the expenses of a Noah Academy. Can I see someone say, ma'am, I commit to $10,000. Who among you would do that? Can somebody give me some water? I love you, man, but you cause me a problem. You cause me a problem. You know right now, who's in my head? My wife. I found out, it took me years to figure it out, my wife had two names for me. Either she calls me Saraj, or she calls me Imam. Imam, it took me a while that whenever she says Saraj, I have a problem. We say Imam, I say Allah Akbar. So she told me one day, she says, Saraj, whenever you are speaking and you want something to drink, never drink from a bottle. Always drink from a glass. I see they're so smart. They're just so smart. Got to put the water in it. This life makes no sense if there's no hereafter, hereafter. I want you to try to imagine Jazak al -Haira. I want you to try to imagine the reward of Ibrahim alayhi salat wa salam. This morning, he brother turned my face toward the Qibla, the house that Ibrahim built. Who will start us off with $10,000? MashaAllah, brother, may Allah bless you in the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, Wahid, the first one. Good. Allah, but may Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, it's name. I want the third one, the odd one. Who will be the odd one to give, make a commitment? You can do $1,000 a month. Take 10 months. But to do this and to get the ajr from these children that will learn and get a foundation of Islam, who will be the third one? $10,000? Now we need it, brothers and sisters. You know, the expenses of Harvard is over $5 billion. You know how they get it? They're fundraisers. 
But in their fundraisers, they make over a billion dollars. I ain't asking for a billion dollars. I'm just asking for ten thousand dollars. Who'll be the third one? They say, Alhamdulillah, Imam, Allah has given to me, and I want to give back. And I know that I'm going to get a bigger reward. It's impossible for Allah to give me something less than what I give him. Who'll be the third one to say, yes, I commit myself to $10,000 for this school. If we don't do it, it's going to be very, very difficult. By the way, I make a recommendation. Me and the imam was speaking about endowments. Harvard has the biggest endowment in the world of $53 billion. You know what they do with that $53 billion? They invest it. And they never spend, except from the proceeds, the investment of the endowment. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, man. I mean, subhanAllah. Wow. North Bronx RX Incorporated. $25,000. May Allah bless you. Let me tell you something about our faith, our Iman. Even the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of you heard the Persian uh, poet Omar Khayyam? Listen to how he described the Qadr of Allah. The moving finger writes and having writ moves on. No all your piety, no wit can lure it back to cancel out half a line. No all your tears wash out a word of it. The moving finger writes. The reward that Allah has given to us. Is that 25 plus 10 plus 10? Or one of 25 instead of the 10? Yeah, but I'm saying someone said, two people said 10,000. Is that separate? It's separate. 25, 35, 45. Good, good. Got you. He pledged 10 but gave 25. May Allah bless you. Let me tell you something, man. You're unbelievable. You think you're going to get away without me coming over there? Huh? Shut up, man. I didn't know you were so tall. Thank you so much, brother. May Allah bless you. Thank you so much. I want more. Ten thousand dollars. Twenty-five is thirty-five thousand dollars. And you know what, brothers? I love you. You know what? I feel sorry for the people who don't believe in Yom Al Akhir. Think about that. According to the World Health Organization, ninety-five percent of the people have ailments. Ninety-five percent. One third have more than five ailments. There's a brother in my masjid. He taught, said, Imam, I take 29 different pills a day. Think about it. An Imam, a friend of mine from Arizona, Imam Ahmed, said, Imam, I went to visit my, my mother in the Middle East. And I said, Mom, how are you doing? She said, who are you? He said, I'm your son, Ahmed. So, oh, five minutes later, who are you? Your son, Ahmed. Five minutes later, who are you? Your son, Ahmed. We have it. I know a brother married to his wife 45 years, and he don't know who she is or their relationship with one another. That's the way it is in this world, the dunya. But believe in that akhirah. Who will give 10,000? Imam Ahmed, before you go, I want to ask you a question. I need a fatwa from you before you go. I'll let you go, but you got to answer the fatwa. Are we allowed to get money from the sisters? He said, yes. 10,000? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khairah. How about $5,000? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you and given it to you, how about donating $5,000 for the school? Do you think the school is worth it? I'm asking you. Maybe you don't think the school is worth it. Maybe you don't think like I think. I think it's a great institution. How many make a commitment of $5,000? 5000 Alhamdulillah. I ain't worried, by the way. I ain't worried at all. Inshallah. We'll get it if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Any sisters? $5,000? Okay, good. 
How about $2,500? $2,500? Who make a commitment of $2,500 for this school that I think is much, much better than Harvard? MashaAllah, brother, may Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, number two, may Allah bless you and your family. Jazakallah khaira. Number two, $2,500. Don't ever regret. You won't regret giving. Number three, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, but you will. You will. Number four, Allah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, know I'm you know what I'm doing, right? You, you, you know what I'm doing, right? You, yeah, you know what I'm doing, right? Oh, I, 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 I got you. I got you. You see this young man here? Stand up. Stand up. Now, he raised, I know he ain't doing this from his pocket. He got to be doing it from his dad's pocket. That's your dad? A good guy, right? Very good or a little bit good? He's really good. <laughs> $2,500. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say amen. Yes, yeah, you can do credit cards or tell me what you can do. Yeah, assalamu uh, alaikum. You, you can pay by credit card also. We have Brother Imad here in the brother's side. He's walking around with the uh, machine. And also in the sister's side, we have a sister doing the same thing. Just call him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I saw you stand up. The rules of fundraising. If Imam Saraj is asking for money, if you stand up, I'm, no, 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 don't stand up. If you stand up, you have to give. Are you standing up? Yes? Yes? Allah Akbar, $2,500. That's Khamsa. $2,500. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2, 4, excellent. Who else? Francis, listen, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Wallahi, you get rewarded. Allah's not going to cheat you. We have to get some sisters, $2,500. Anyone else? That's five. Somebody give me and keep, keep the account for me. What's that? What's that? How much is that? Huh? How much is that? All together. This is another one? It's separate? Two thousand. Okay. No, I want to get the count. How much so far? All right. Guess what? Now, I need, a, I need the account, brother. Give me the account. Anyone 2,500? Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of you, even with the niya to give. Now, brother, give me the count. How much is that so far? Alhamdulillah, but this person hasn't raised, they raised their hand or didn't raise their hand? This is another one? Another one, good, alhamdulillah. The Sayyid Jalil Akhtar, alhamdulillah, $2,500. Number seven, seven. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, we got seven, but, 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 we can't stop at seven. Why can't we stop at seven? How many gates to hellfire? How many gates to hell? Seven. How many gates to Jannah? Eight. How are you going to stop at seven? I need one more. Allah Akbar, number eight. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the earth. So, I mean, have you read the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave signs to Musa. How many signs did Allah give Musa? Huh? How many signs did Allah give Musa? Huh? Hello, anybody out there? Nine. Who said nine? Thank you. That's your dad there? That's your dad? Yes. So you said nine, right? So all dad got to say, okay, I, I take care of that. You, you, you want to say something to me? Yes? Allah, he brought number nine. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean. Men ja'al bil hasana falahu. Whoever does a good deed will have. Anybody out there tonight? Whoever does a good deed will have. Ten. 
I need one more. I need one more person to commit themselves to $2,500 for this school to get a great big reward from Allah. Brother, that's not like me. Anyone? Allah Akbar, number 10. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, Ameen. That's 10. I heard the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, say, 46,500. You get the last two, 2,500 in the back. I heard the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Allah is odd and loves odd. True? True? Is 10 even or odd? You thinking whether 10 is even or odd? 10 even or odd? You think I'm going to make you get some more money? Let's see if we get one more, the 11th person, the odd number, to donate $2,500 for this, this wonderful institution. Anyone? Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much. I'm going to conclude with this. I think that there are at least 25, 30, or 40 people who commit themselves to $20 a week for a year, about $1,000. Let's see how many we can count. I count to three. You raise your hand. One, two, three. One, two, Three, four, five, six, six, seven, one thousand dollars, twenty dollars a week, seven people for this school to get reward from Allah. Sisters, do you have something, number eight, that the sisters can't give? Brothers, do you allow your wives to give? Yes or no? Eleven. Anyone else? One thousand dollars. Twelve. Shukran. Jazakallah khairi, beloved. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless you, brothers and sisters. Don't don't stop giving. We depend upon you. The school has a deficit. Teachers have a right to be paid. Everybody wants to get paid. Our school should be no different. What we're trying to do is make up the deficit. May Allah reward all of you for coming today, inshallah, but we need more given. I close. How many more people make a commitment of $1,000? Alhamdulillah. Number 13, alhamdulillah. Anyone else? All right. Maybe you can't do 1,000. How about 500? All of it helps. Every little bit helps. How many of you make a commitment of $500? Raise your hand. Good. One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Allahu Akbar. Number four. Allahu Akbar. Number four. Arba'ah. Anyone else? $500? That's four. Sisters? Any sisters? Any sisters? Allahu Akbar. Good. Four sisters. Four? You, you raise your hand or are you saying four? Five? Five. Okay. Good. One. So you're saying 500 or five sisters? 500, okay, good. Jazakallah khaira. Number two, two sisters, alhamdulillah. 500, number three, Allahu Akbar. Now we're talking. Three sisters, $500. Number four, number five, number six, Allahu Akbar. $500, number seven, Allahu Akbar. Fi sabilillah. Seeking a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's seven. Can I get one more? $500. Number eight, Allahu Akbar. I want more. I want more tonight. I want us to prove tonight we can say that the Islamic school is so great, it's so wonderful. We can say that, but now the proof. Where's the bayin? Bayina. Where's the proof? Where's the evidence? Anyone else, sisters? Good. Numbers uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Allahu Akbar. Eleven. Allahu Akbar. Eleven. Fisa bidilah for our children. And get big reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Eleven sisters. Now, brothers, I conclude with you. How many more can we get? Five hundred dollars. Don't regret.
first one. Brothers and sisters, um, we're about to close. We're about $70,000. And it would be good if we can get another $30,000. Some of you, you don't have it now. Alhamdulillah. You know, this is the test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. He donated $1,000. Okay, good. Alhamdulillah. So there is a barcode in the uh, place form. If you can scan it and pay by the credit card. Now, who made these bank paintings, these beautiful paintings? Who made them? Do we know who made them? The teachers and the students? You're saying the teachers and the students made this? Are you serious? MashaAllah. Does it look beautiful? How beautiful? Enough to pay $1,000? We're almost there. We only need a couple more minutes. Can I tell you something? Can I be honest with you? I love sports. I love basketball. I used to play it. And I used to think that, boy, if I can play basketball for an NBA and make millions of dollars, it never happened. But you know what I noticed? All over the world, how much money athletes are paid. Who was the athlete that was signed the soccer player for Saudi Arabia? What's his name? Ronaldo. How much his contract? $75 million a year. You know the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We believe in the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A woman, Imratu Sauda'a, a black woman, came to the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, and said, I suffer from epilepsy. Can you make dua for me? He said, If you wish, you be patient. Well, I keep Jannah. You have Jannah. But if you wish, I make dua for you. She said, I'll be patient. For years, I asked myself the question, Why didn't the Prophet just make dua? I found the answer. Do you know how many people on this earth have epilepsy? 50 million. 50 million. And if every one of them be patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them Jannah. Prophet is not around to give dua, but the sabr. So I'm saying, Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless every one of you. Somebody give me a bid. Someone give me a bid. Any bid. You got it. Whatever you say, I'm going to give it to you. Be nice, $1,000. Would be real nice. But you know what? Doesn't matter. 
Somebody give me a bid. Give me a bid. Yes. Anybody? Nobody? The students made, the teacher and the students made this? That's remarkable, alhamdulillah. No bid. No bid at all? Alhamdulillah. Wow, this is beautiful. $250,000. Oh, $250. May Allah bless. Where's the brother? Thank you, brother. Jazakallah $250. How about this? Beautiful. We're going now. Just raise your hand and just make a, 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 a pledge and we give it to you. Anyone? Brothers, they're beautiful. These are beautiful pieces. This I to Kusi. Yes. How much? Listen, I don't want you to think 250 is a sunnah. <laughs> I want to follow that brother sunnah. Brothers, Zakalaka, I love you for the sake of Allah. $250! Takbir! You don't even want to give takbir. Now, this is a beautiful piece. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Now, come on. Now, listen. Don't say 250 now. Don't, oh, don't you say 250, because I will come down there. How much? $500,000. No? Not $500,000? $5,000. No? $500. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the year after Sammy. It's good. This is unbelievable. Allah. How about? Yes? $100. Huh? $400? $400. $400. Four hundred dollars going once. I want more. I want more. Four hundred is good, but I want more. Hey, wait, hey, 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 wait a minute. You move too fast, man. Can somebody beat it? I, I want to see some rivalry. Festival Khairat. Strive together as in a race. All right, four hundred dollars. May Allah bless you, alhamdulillah, the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Asma'ul Husna, the names of Allah. Oh, this is a beautiful one. This is a beautiful one. Somebody, somebody make a, yes? 500. Yes? Five hundred. Five hundred pesos. Yes? No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Five hundred dollars going once. I want more. Be closing out. 500 going twice. I want more. I want some competition. I will back in Umar. No. Alhamdulillah. Brother, may Allah bless you. Jazak al May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say Ameen. Again, it's like Ayat al but I can't see. It's, it's too fancy. Someone give me a bid. Huh? One dollar? I bid two dollars. Ha! Huh? How much? I bid three dollars. Somebody give me a bid. Yes. Fifty-one dollars. Sixty-one? MashaAllah. Sixty-one dollars. What? Yes. How much? One hundred dollars? hundred dollars gone once. I want more. I want more. 100 going once. 100 going twice. Yes. 200? 200. MashaAllah. Is he, is he bidding against himself? 200 going once. 200 going twice. And, 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 and. So, $200. Allah Akbar. You wanted to raise your hand? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Every time I turn around, there's more. How about this? This is a real sale, brothers and sisters. By the way, yes. Seventy-five dollars. 
Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Where's your dad? Okay, good, good, good. You, it's very good. Alhamdulillah. Very nice. $75? You would like to bid against yourself? Yes? How much? 75 going once? 75 going twice? And, 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 so, 75 dollars. Alhamdulillah, just wait a minute. What, what, what is, what is, where are they coming from? Yes? $100. How much? $150. $200. $250. gone once. $250 gone twice. And, and, and. How much? $300. Yes. I ask you. I like that. $300 gone once. $350 gone once. $350. $500. $500 going once, $500 going twice, and, 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 and. Yes. $1 million. $1 million. Where's your dad? Yo, man, back up the truck. I think, uh, I think the last one was 500. 500. 500 going once, 500 going twice. And, and sold. $500. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. I want that young man to stand over here. This one, 300. What kind of, what kind of, um. Now, brothers, I'm sorry. I don't want no brothers bidding on this unless you're bidding for your wife or your mama or your sister. I understand it's a very expensive. I don't, I don't know. Very expensive. Somebody give me a bid, any bid. This is my bidding table here, yes? Anyone? All right, brothers. Who get this for their wives? Who make a bid for this for your wife, your daughter, your sister, your mother? Somebody give me a bid. Anyone? Alhamdulillah. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Alhamdulillah. I ain't mad at nobody. All right, we got a couple of paintings to go. Let's do it fast. This is, this is like really, really quick. Somebody give me a bid. $200. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, 200 going once, 200 going twice, and, 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 and sold. $200. SubhanAllah. May Allah bless you. Wow, these are all beautiful. These are all professional. I can tell. How about this beautiful work here? Someone give me a bid. Yes, yes. How much? 100? 100. May Allah bless you. Jazakallah khair. 100. $200. $200 gone once. Don't give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. 200 gone twice. And how much? $300. $300 gone once. $300 gone twice. And, 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 and. Three fifty. Three fifty going once. There's fifty more dollars. There's fifty more dollars. How much? Four hundred dollars. Four hundred going once. Four hundred dollars going twice. And 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 sold. Four hundred dollars. Allahu Akbar. Very good. Excellent. All right, brothers and sisters, we're gonna stop. Let me do this last. Wow. $350. MashaAllah. I want to see some competition. You said $350, right? You can bid against yourself, by the way. 
we allow that here. 350 going once. Where's your, where's, your, where's your son? Why you hide your son? I don't like that. Yes. $400. Where's your son? I'm serious. Where's your son? You don't know. Yes. $500. 500 going once. 500 going twice. I dare you to. I dare you to be. $600. Allah bless you the best of this life. Oh, $650. $650. Oh, the young man said he's going to beat you. $800. Huh? $801. And can I tell you something about Muhammad Ali? He was a friend of mine, for real, for real. And he was a very funny guy. And he once said, if you think about beating me, you better wake up and apologize. If you dream about beating me, wake up and apologize. So I'm saying here, he said $801. We're down to the nitty gritty. We're down to the end. This young man told you, a grown man with a beard, he's going to beat you. He's going to beat you down. And look like he's doing it. Eight on one. Huh? <laughs> May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. I mean, Allah, but excellent job. Good job, man. Where's my money? Oh, she got it. All right. Let's go. We got one more. Somebody give me a, a bid. Anyone? Give me a bid. Anyone? Fisa Bililah. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank every one of you for coming and your beautiful spirit. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? How much? 200? MashaAllah, may Allah bless you. $200 going once, $200 going twice, and, and so $200. May Allah bless you. Yes, you, you, $250, I'm sorry. I was premature. $250, $300, here it go. Here it go, $300 going once, $300 going twice. She said 350. She said 350. He sat down. 350. Yeah. 400 dollars. Now for the grand finale. We have a race here. 100 dollars. Going once. 400. Yes. 450. 450 go. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred going once. Five hundred going twice. And and five hundred going once. Five hundred going twice. And sold five hundred dollars. May Allah bless you. And sisters, come on, man. We gotta go. We gotta make a lot. Quickly, give me a bid. Anybody, give me a bid. How much? $200, may Allah bless you. Best of this life and the best of the hereafter. 200 going once, 200 going twice. And, and, uh-oh. How much? Oh, no, no. 200, Jazakallah khaira. May Allah bless you. Listen, we only got two left. All right. This is, how much? 100? No, it's good. You think you're going to get this for $100? You really believe that? Two hundred dollars. Don't stop. Two hundred going once. Five hundred dollars. I think you knocked it out the park. Five hundred going once. Five hundred going twice. And sold five hundred dollars. Now the grand finale. 
This is it. It's the last one. Who's going to be the last one standing? Somebody give me a bid. Mashallah. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Now, he's got his, he put his one finger up. I'll tell you what he did. He, like, he did like that. I can interpret however I want to. I can interpret it $1,000. I, I mean, I can. This is the right of the auctioneer. He has that right, that, the privilege. So you put your hand there, one. It could mean a lot of stuff. I don't think it means $1. I don't think it means that, right? I'm thinking it means $1,000. So I'm asking you, how much the bid? $2,500. Everybody's stunned. 25 going once. May Allah bless you. 2,500 going twice. Who dare compete against the champ? $2,500 and sold. May Allah bless you. The best of this life and the best of the hereafter. I mean, so try to find out the numbers for you. Brothers and sisters, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate Anor Academy. And in my opinion, uh, this school is blessed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless the school. $84,200, alhamdulillah. We're very grateful to Allah the Almighty. We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop trying to raise money. But alhamdulillah, that's it for tonight. I want to thank all of you. Jazakallah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So brother and sister, there's a food on the behind of all the desks. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi uh, First, we want to thank all of the teachers, the students, everybody that poured their hearts out and helped to organize this event, and especially Imam Siraj Wahaj, who came all the way from Atlanta, uh, not just our Imam, but America's Imam. If we could get a nice loud takbir for him. Takbir! 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 Secondly, as you guys uh, have dinner and then eventually make your way upstairs to Isha, Model UN, Zainab and Iman, if you're here, please stand by your table. Model UN needs about $6,000 to travel and compete in New York City in March. So if everyone can just give $100, they'll be able to accomplish that goal, inshallah. Um, the sponsors that helped contribute monetarily to this event, uh, UIF Corporation, Guidance Residential, Amanda Mutual Funds, uh, Brother Janaid, who's a part of this community. Uh, please make sure that when you go upstairs, you stop by their tables and uh, introduce yourselves and, and uh, see how you can take advantage of their services. And uh, with that, we'll have dinner here, and then Isha is right after this. Yeah, once again, Isha will be right after the uh, the food, after dinner. <laughs>